hard copy. Weeknights at 7 on Channel 8. Marissa Morris, tomorrow on Newswatch 8, live at 5. Live from the Bull and Finch, the Cheers Bar in Boston, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Featuring Bradford Marsalis with Penny Kirkland. Tonight, Jay welcomes cheer stars Ted Danson, Kelsey Grammer, Woody Harrelson, Rhea Perlman, John Ratzenberger, and George Wendt. Cheers theme song writers Judy Hartangelo and Gary Portnoy. And cheers creators Jim Burroughs and Glenn Charles. I'm Ed Hall. And now, Jay Leno! How are ya? Welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see everybody. Good to see everybody. Thank you for coming. We got uh, quite an evening plan. Good to see everybody. I should explain. Uh, I should explain to the folks at home. These people are what we call Cheers Davidians. They are maniacal Cheers fans. Anybody that's read the Oxbow Incident will understand what's about to happen here tonight. Good to see everybody. Uh, we're all here to celebrate, of course, the final episode of Cheers. As you know. As you know, to the folks at NBC, Cheers is not just a TV show. It's all we've got, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. It's all we've got. But the good news, the good news, any disaster NBC encounters due to losing Cheers is covered on their insurance policy. A lot of people don't know this. The bad news is it's with Allstate. Yeah, kind of a tough break. Tough break. Because tonight, the final episode, you know times are rough, ladies and gentlemen, when people who just sit around in bars all day lose their jobs. That's how you know. Now, if you've been watching, if you've been watching, you know this year, Sam Malone finally removed his hairpiece to show Carla that he wasn't perfect. And then after the show, uh, Ted Danson uh, removed that roll of quarters from his pocket to show Kirstie Alley that he wasn't perfect either. So that's... Yeah. And coincidentally, coincidentally... In Washington, the Clinton administration is officially four months old today. Uh, yeah, I think I think they're getting ready for their final episode too. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Well, you hear what? Uh, I know if you heard what happened yesterday. Bill uh, Bill Clinton fired all seven people who worked in the White House travel office. I guess he was mad on his way back to California. They made him change planes in Atlanta. Yeah, that's not real. No, he fired him. He fired, I guess, the seven people who work in the travel department for gross mismanagement. I mean, how is that going to look on your resume? Being called incompetent by the Clinton administration. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But you got to give Clinton credit. He is the consummate politician. Did you see him on the news uh, in California the other day? One campaign stop, they gave him a bucket of fried chicken, and he ate that. Then another campaign stop, they gave him a burrito, and he ate that. And another campaign stop, they gave him a McDonald's hamburger, he ate that. And then at the end of the day, he's got the nerve to say, there's no such thing as a free lunch. You know, <laughs> Clinton's been on the road. I guess you've seen this. Uh, earlier in the week, he was in Taos, New Mexico, where he met with the uh, Pueblo Indians. Clinton claims the Indians love him because they address him by his Indian name, Broken Promises. Yeah, it's an Indian name, old Indian name. Actually, though, I am... I am in favor of the Clinton job program. Clinton says he wants to put un all unemployed people back to work. I guess you heard this. You know, military personnel, policemen, firemen, construction workers. Hey, forget about Fleetwood Mac. He should reunite the village people. There's a job right there for each one of them. You got the army guy. You got... And political experts, political experts are speculating that uh, our own Massachusetts governor, William Weld, might be a strong candidate for president in 96. Hey, come on now. Let's be honest. Traditionally, uh, candidates from Massachusetts have always done so well in their run for the presidency. I can't imagine why. Let's see what else is in the news. Scientists at Arizona State University report that mating killer bees with happier honeybees hasn't made them any nicer. 
course, marriage didn't help Bob Dole either, so I pretty much, yeah, pretty much another one. And, and, and political irritant Ross Perot was on Capitol Hill this week. You see him, he was talking with Republican leaders. You know, I saw a picture of Ross Perot uh, standing next to Bob Dole. You ever seen him together? They look like Dr. Frankenstein and his sidekick Igor, just kind of hanging there. And Rush Limbaugh, Rush Limbaugh, says he's going to be attending a conference in Colorado this weekend. You hear about this? It's being called the Conservative Woodstock. Conservative Woodstock. Imagine Wood William F. Buckley with a bull hunt on the towers. All right, everybody, chill out. There's some bad tweed going around. Don't eat the watercress sandwiches, okay? Don't eat the watercress sandwiches. Here's something we've been talking about all week. You read about this as high school in Utica, Kansas has two seniors graduating. There are only two kids in their graduating class. Imagine how embarrassing that is, boy, at your 20-year reunion. I'm sorry, I, I don't remember your name. You're... I think I know you. And finally, NBC, NBC getting ready for the fall season. They're coming up with some of their truly original, innovative programming. We're bringing back Bonanza, bringing back Bonanza. We're going to do totally new Bonanza, and it's completely different. And the new Bonanza, Ben, Hoss, Little Joe, and Adam move to Boston, where they buy a bar and they fill it with colorful characters. Yeah, it should be a good, good show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to... I would like to introduce our guest. Now, as you know, we have the cast of Cheers here. We had, yeah, we had some sketches, we had some comedy bits they were going to do, but they've been parting. They are completely drunk. We're going to shoot it from the hip. Let's welcome Ted Danson, Kelsey Grammer. Kelsey Grammer, Woody Harrelson, Rhea Perlman, John Ratzenberger, George Wendt, and we're going to go downstairs into the bar right after this. Stay tuned. Welcome back, folks. We are back at the uh, Cheers Bar. We're going to go down into the bar now and show you the actual Cheers Bar. Come with us. You know, I feel like I feel like Geraldo opening the vault. Come on in here. Let's see what's down. Uh, this part looks pretty much like the TV show. See, here's the door. It says Cheers on it. It's almost the same kind of door as you can see. Uh, and I see you must be 21. So if we have any minors watching, you might want to turn off. Wait. And we have a lot of celebrities here tonight. Look, ladies and gentlemen, Al Gore. Al Gore is here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. How are you, Mr. Vice President? Good to see you. A little stiffer than normal. Let's take a look inside here. As you can see, it's a little uh, smaller than the, uh, than the real, than the, well, this is the real Cheers bar, than the one on TV. But it looks the same. See the stuff hanging over there and the, the glasses and, oh, look, look, see, look, there's it, look, this, look, there's Ted behind the bar. Hi, you guys. Rhea serving drinks there it is, behind the bar. Come on in. Come in, come in. Come in, please. Wade Bog. Hi, hi, you guys. How are you? Bob Costas. Jay, how are you? Bob always manages to wheedle his way into everybody else's show. Now, now how, you weren't you just doing this in L.A.? They, they swiped eight minutes from me because the last episode ran over, and they said they'd make it up to me oh, I see. at the back end. So oh, here I, I am. All right, well, this is the back end. Let's take a, take a walk with me. All right. Well, let's meet everybody. Hi, you guys. To these sports guys, you know Wade Bob, right, right. one of the great hitters in oh, Red yes, Sox yes, history. Of His wife, Debbie. Hi, Deb. Another Debbie, Mrs. Roger Clemens. Look at <laughs> you guys. Oh, thank and, you very much. And the Rocket, Roger Clemens. Hi, you guys. We might get the two of us confused because of the Van Dyke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. They're, they're doing a, a bad magic act, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and again, any of the baseball guys, you know, I want you to feel at home, so feel free to scratch or touch yourselves. It's no problem, okay? <laughs> thank you very much. Hey, now. Another Red Sox pitcher back here, Frank Viola, hey, Frank. the former Frank. twin and Matt, his nice wife, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Hey! Jim Rice, yes, one of the great sluggers in Red Sox history. This is terrific. This is very impressive. Hey, hey, hey. Look, Norm is holding court. Hi, Norm. How are you? <laughs> George, I mean. Yeah. I'm saying Norm. You see, it's so... Stop squirting me with that. <laughs> now, what do you got? 
Oh, Carlos, Carlos got a score count. They are drunk out of their minds. They are drunk. Anything oh. could happen. Whoa. <laughs> They're now making up for all the phony beer See, they had to drink on the know, show. The FCC doesn't allow beer to be drunk on TV, right? Really? <laughs> I, that's what I understand. <laughs> really? I had no idea. <laughs> oh, hi, you guys. <laughs> oh! Did you say hi to Doug, hi, Doug Flutie? Of course, Doug. How are you? Fable Heisman Trophy winner from Boston yes, College. I know that. Wife, Laurie. His hi, wife, Lori. Hello. Hi, how are you? One of the athletes I most enjoyed interviewing through the years. Yeah. And you're almost, yeah, you make it pretty good. Oh, hello, Senator. Senator Kerry, Senator how are you? Kerry. Welcome home. Nice to see you. You know, it'd be nice to walk into a bar once and not go, oh, hello, Senator. Oh, hey, but seriously, <laughs> seeing a senator in a bar, what are the odds of that, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, we come down to hang out with the tall guy. Oh, how are you, the John Havlicek? Yes, a Boston legend. A legend legend, not just a Boston legend. My wife, Beth. Oh, just your wife or your daughter? <laughs> oh, your wife. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. A very colorful sweater. I figured you'd bring an old guy in there. And we had no, no, not an old guy at all. Good to see you, sir. Thank you very, very much. Let's, let's take a walk down through. We're going to go in the back of the chairs. Oh, here's uh, oh, yes. John's teammate from the Celtics, Dave Cowens, great center, right. Hall of Famer. Hi, Dave. How are you? How are you? Many big stars and celebrities here. This is great, you guys. Thank you. Really. Carla, and they still take the gun away from that woman. All right, let's go in the back. Let's see who's in the back. We head into uh, the narrow corridor. This is the corridor that divides point. the front bar with the back bar. How you, how you guys? What's going on? I have no idea okay. who hi, these how guys are. Guys hanging. Oh, they're Paramount guys. <laughs> no idea. But they're wearing Paramount. These are what you call suits in show business, ladies So we've gone from baseball to football to basketball and now hockey. Here's Cam hi, Neely from the Boston hey, Bruins. Hi, guys. Nice to see you. Oh, how are you? Look, Look it's right Kevin McHale. Wall. Kevin McHale now, stuck listen, in with the hockey you guys. Do, hold on. <laughs> what, hold on what, all the stuff right now. Bob Cost is Jay Leno. No, right, listen, Bob, whatever you do, don't say anything about the playoffs. Right? Just, hey, how come you guys get bounced from the playoffs? Bad call by the ref. Come on. Uh, bad, bad call down there in exactly, Charlotte. Exactly. So, so now that you're retired, you don't care if you stand with the basketball I players. I need a job. Not. Job. J-O-B. <laughs> job. Okay. Well, you don't want to look too desperate. No, no. The desperation's bad. <laughs> but you know, Willie Nelson's got the Taco Bell thing. Maybe we can work something out. I'm working on that. I'm working on that. I'll let you know later. Good to see you guys. This is Jim Craig, the course, goalie from the yeah. Silicon Ice team in 1980. The Quinn US told me to tell you the, the new dental plan is going to be unbelievable. So please, tell the rest of the guys. Hi. Hello there. How are you? How are you guys? Hello, hello. Hey, what's happening? Mike Ruzzi, yes, the captain of that team in 1980. Nice to see you. Nice to nice see you. Nice to see you, sir. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Great. Well, thanks for coming down. Get yourself something to eat a drink. We're going wandering in the back. Hi, how you doing? Hi, you guys. How are you? Let's see. Where are we going? Oh, we're going back here? Now, a lot of important people are back here. This is the back bar. Right. Cheers. Now, you know in Cheers they play pool, where they have the pool? Yeah. They have a pool table here. It's not quite the same, but this is, I guess, where they modeled it after. As you can see up there, and there's... <laughs> Look at all these people behind the bar. Isn't that Warren Littlefield behind? Is Warren behind the Working bar? Working the bar, as a matter of fact. Is he back there? Uh, yes. Is he? There oh, he there is. he is. That's the president of NBC. Now, see, if this does well and gets good ratings, this would have been his idea. If it bombs terribly, it was Leno's idea. Good to see you. Oh, yes, good to see you. I think the, the Kennedys are sitting right over there. And I've done so many jokes about the Kennedys. I, I feel kind of guilty. I'm going to go over and say hello and see if they're mad at me or something. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, hi, folks. Hey, Kelsey. How are you? Hey, hey Woody. How are you guys? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, how are you? How are you, sir? How are you? How are you? Hi, hi. Oh, hey, Kelsey. Hey, how are Jay. you, sir? How are you? How are you? How are you? Thanks for coming. You know, I feel kind of embarrassed. I've done so many jokes, you know, about the Kennedys. I hope Jay, there's no hard feelings. don't feel feelings. embarrassed at all. Of course there's no hard feelings. As a matter of fact, we wanted to welcome you here to Boston. I want to introduce you to oh, my mom. Oh, of course. How are you? Nice Ethel Kennedy. You. Yes, nice to meet you. My hi. brother Michael. Hi, Michael. How are you? And Vicky Kennedy. Hi. My brother Max. Hi, Max. How Another are you? Vicky Kennedy. Hi, how are and you? And Beth Kelly. Hi, nice to see you. Well, this Listen, is very exciting. We have a little surprise for you. You do? Oh, yep, the I, you family know, decided to get together and do something yeah, for you. Yeah, I feel, Jay. you know, I've done those jokes for years, and I kind of thought oh, maybe you'd be a little upset at me. Well, about. no, of course not, Jay. You know, the Kennedys oh, look at this. don't Welcome, get Jay. mad. Oh, the Kennedys don't no, get mad? No, we got a little surprise for you. Oh, really? Thanks. Hey, this looks great. We get even. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Steven! Hey. Hey. Steven, hi. How are you? I'm all right. Steven, what, uh, what are you doing here? Well, what happened was I was trying to prove to them that I was a midwife, and they wouldn't let me in there. I um, get out of hand, you know. Yeah, that, that seems rather unfair. Well, you, you were a guest on Cheers, right? That uh, well, no, 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 I was never on Cheers. I was, uh, I was on Prozac. Oh, okay. I was on Prozac. Those, in fact, those were the happiest days of my life. Really? The happiest yes, days when you were on the decaffeinated Prozac? The decaffeinated Prozac, uh, yeah. Now, what is your connection with Cheers? Didn't you? Well, when I was a college student yeah. down the street here, I used to park cars here. For real or are you just yeah. saying? Really? No, no, seriously. Yeah. But there was no actual parking lot. 
So you'd get in the car mm -hmm. and you would drive around and find a space and park the car and then come back and write on a piece of paper with the key where the uh, oh, car was parked and put the key on the board. Right. But sometimes someone would come out and late at night and be drunk or something and they'd knock the board over yeah. by accident. Oh, and the keys so would go off. The key would right? fall off and the paper would fall off and then I didn't know where the, the car was, you know. Now was how long ago was that? That was about 15 years ago. 15 years ago, so what so, what, what brings you back Well, now? I feel guilty about these cars, so I, I mean, I have these keys from that time, and I think that some of them might be, like this is very rare, this is a 1978 Camaro, brand new. Really? Which is, it's probably still new, because it's been, you know, as I said, 15 yeah. years. Well, I hope the guy has his ticket. Um, yeah, so okay. I, I think, so I have all these keys, and that's... that's just, yeah, well, you know. we'll see. Maybe the owner's here tonight. I mean, it Maybe. can happen. You never know. All right, we'll be right back right after this. Good seeing you, Stephen. Hey! Cheers Pub down in uh, down in Boston here. Now, you know, I know you guys have been asked a bunch of stuff, so we went out in the crowd today. People have been waiting all day, and we got a list of questions, and we thought we'd run them by you. You guys just pipe up when you want to when you want to answer them. All right. Uh, here you go. This, this, this one wants to know, uh, are, are any of you sick of talking about Cheers? Woody! Woody! Woody's the one sick. Woody! I love it, man. I never get tired of talking about it. Any questions? <laughs> no, no. Just... Oh, thank, there you go. You. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, now you guys just watched the last episode, okay? Uh, ha had anybody seen it till tonight? Teddy? No, no, uh, no, no, no. No, I haven't. No, it's first time. Now, any twists you would have liked to have seen, or was it exactly what you? Georgie, tell the truth, man. I, I taped Seinfeld. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. On the last day of taping, this woman wants to know. Who cried first, or did anybody? Woody. 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 like a baby. Stan yeah, yeah, Laurel, man. Post. He did a Stan Laurel. Do it. All right, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's realistic. That's now, were you pretty emotional? Woody, was, I mean, was it like a big emotional thing? I've, hold, I've held out for like 12 years to express any emotion. And, yeah. And I did it that night. Yeah. And I'm proud of it. Well, I'm not ashamed. Oh, no, no. Eight years. You were on the show for eight years. Yeah. Well, there was other things I was holding out for. <laughs> no, he wasn't. You weren't working before. Well, that's narcissistic. You think it was just because of you guys? <laughs> oh, yeah. You gotta get a date before he goes on Cheers either. <laughs> now, there were a total of how many episodes? Who's counting? 275. 275. Wow. Have you guys, have you seen every one? Have you ever missed one? I've missed oh, yeah. many. I've seen no, half. I've seen oh, sure. one. I've seen every single Really? You're really? such a liar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's our annuity when we, uh, when we get old. We can sit there going, whoo, and try to figure out. All right. Go. Here's another one from the audience. Has anyone on the show ever had a crush on another cast member? <gasps> every, we don't have a crush on another cast All of us. Oh, baby. Oh, we've all had a crush. And now, it, it would seem to be awful one-sided. Ask no, no, no. Ask George and Rhea about Seattle. George, and, about <laughs> Seattle? Uh, tell us about Seattle. Well, it was a, you know, it's a torrid affair. I mean, it's <laughs> it just happened yeah. in Seattle. It now, was, why you know, Seattle? It was magic. It was magic. Talk about it. All right, all right. Damn it. Talk about oh. it. <laughs> Can I get you all another drink? <laughs> <laughs> sure. No, thanks. no, no, I want to hear more about Seattle. Was it was it in the hotel? Was it in the in the, in the parking lot? Oh, this is so scandalous. Yeah. 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 I mean, was it just the, the pent up emotion help? of working together finally in this release? Raw animal thing. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. So. <laughs> just just let yourself and you and you couldn't resist. Was that the Who only could? Any man could? <laughs> You know, now that you mention it, I don't know. <laughs> uh, now, so, so what, is that it? Was that the only affair of the... Uh, oh, you any? know, well, Ted and Woody. Ted and Woody. Ted and Woody. Yeah, yeah. We, really? yeah, George and I actually chipped in for a motel room for these two guys, but I don't know if they took... Nothing, I guess, is not I got down on my knees. I'm not ashamed of it. I was praying for the end of the affair. Praying. I wish praying I hadn't said that later. Uh, I don't know. You were praying. You know what's the crying shame is? This is one of the best fighting men in the world, too. Because what a waste, huh? You won't be able to... Uh, well, maybe we'll be able to. I don't know. To what? I know you do. Military. 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 You mean like this because? Let me explain to the audience at home. This is what's known as losing control. Being here 11 years, pent up, 
Daddy, that was funny though, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> you were rolling, baby. No? Well, listen, we have something for you. As you know, Kirsty couldn't be here because she's doing this movie. Oh, oh, oh she is. Oh, no, 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 she, no, she really, she really wanted to be here, and we tried to work out something with the plane, but she's right in the middle of the movie, and it's an expensive movie. But she, she is going to come to us now, and, and here she is. She has a message for all you guys. Here's Kirsty Allen. Hi, everybody. I'm sitting here in the Meridian Hotel in Vancouver. I just watched the show, and you were all so good. And I really, really missed you. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you tonight in Boston, but I'm here doing a movie. It's not so bad. Um, I, hi, Jay. How are you? Listen, I wanted, I wanted to tell everybody out there that I really appreciate you still tuning in when I got hired for this job. I, it means a lot to me. And I wanted to say to the cast, I don't want you to worry about me. You know, I know you're all there together and I'm here by myself, but that's sort of the way we're going to have to go through life now, isn't it? I mean, we can't just walk around and connect with each other all the time. And, and I'm not going to die without you. I mean, I'm not going to go cuckoo without you or anything, you know? In fact, I'm, I'm here doing a movie now and I met a lot of new friends. And I, I'd like you to meet them with me. Come here. This is Cootie and Stormin, Biff, this is Ham, this is Glacier, Willis, Tribeca, and Darla. Hi, Danny. So you see, I'm fine. I haven't gone off my rocker. In fact, we want to sing you a little song. This is for the cast, and this is for all you private detectives out there. Are you ready? Yes. Hit it. Did you ever see a dick? Did you want to see a dick? Dick a dick, 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 dick a
No. He missed it. He blew it. It was a gimmick. Point black. You know, I never really understood what policemen had to go through when they pulled someone over. <laughs> Have any of you ever, did any of you steal something from the set? There's a good question. The last episode, the bars got all the stuff. And did any of you steal anything from the set that you should have Maria's take? virginity. Oh. 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 No, I gave that. Oh, that's right. That was a couple years ago. No, before. no one stole anything because we were told we, we had, there were guards all over the place really? saying, keep your hands off it. Yeah. I got around to the guarantees. What's well, all going to the Smithsonian? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. All that's the stuff is. Told, you mean all, all the beer glasses and all the paraphernalia? It's a rumor. It's going a rumor. To it was a rumor to make yeah. us. All we know is John's uniforms there. That's all we really. Probably know. in the congressional exhibit, I imagine. All the beer and. Uh, yeah, really. Right. Mm -hmm. Ah, here's go. This person uh, wants to know who has the worst mouth, like cursing and stuff. Kirsty, oh, Kirsty Allen. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Okay. Can't defend it. Thank you. Here you go. Here you go. His okay. parent wants to know who would you trust to babysit your kids? <laughs> you have to leave your kids. <laughs> you have somebody else in the cabin. Really, Kirsty. Yeah, yeah, same one. Kirsty. Yeah. yeah. Not because she's stupid. <laughs> she, but she because is. she's she's got animals. Kirstie. She knows how to take Love, care of animals. Loves mother. Loves yeah. kids. She's. Oh, come on, John. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. It's just a <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay, we're here for you. No, no, we're here. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, ask a good question. Come so on. do you think... <laughs> ask Kelsey a question. Ask Kelsey. Kelsey, <laughs> Kelsey. Kelsey's a good answer. Come on. Kelsey, you've got a show coming up, right? Yeah, I have a show coming up. Uh, based yeah. on your... Uh, Based on your character here from Chief? Uh, not really. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just called the same thing. Just called the same it's thing. The next, it's, it's, the same thing. it's the next incarnation. Though. Oh, it's the next <laughs> incarnation. Right, right, right. I see. You see, you just do that for legal reasons. <laughs> right, exactly. If it's a hit, we're all going to have to slow That's what we're going to do. Oh, I see. And then do this in Seattle. <laughs> you think NBC will come up with the lost episodes? <laughs> yes. There Where should be a few. Uh, yeah. 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 Has anybody oh, talked yeah. about a reunion yet? <laughs> Oh, there's got to be a Christmas special no, somewhere along the line. Is a Christmas special? There's got to be. We're going to come on the Tonight Show once a week and be with you, man. There you go. You know, that's... <laughs> Fine with me. Fine with me. So you flew in from all over the country. I know what are you were. You were doing a film, right? I was. I'd like to say hi to Oliver Stone. Does Oliver even know you're here? Did you sneak away? Huh? Did you sneak <laughs> away? Did he know you're here? I begged him. <laughs> I got down on my knees once more. I begged him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. and uh, he let me out. All right. And thank you. Mm. All right. Well, when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna go out on the street again and then talk to the crowd. We're gonna have a uh, a, a, a bit with the crowd on the street, and then we'll come back and we'll talk to you guys again. I know you probably want to relax and maybe have a drink or something. <laughs> So uh, we'll be back with Cast of Cheers, and we're going to have a sing-along with all 50,000 people out on the street again this show. They've all got the cheat music. It'll be unbelievable. And I can't get You know, this is what a substitute teacher has to go to. We'll be right back right after this. Oh, man. live from the Betty Ford Center in downtown, uh, downtown Boston, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. I'll tell you something. Don't drink and drive. NBC needs all the viewers we can get, so please. Do not even try this at home. These people are professional drinkers. They've been drinking for 11 years, so don't even try this at home. All right, now you all know Cheers ended tonight, and although saddened, life must go on. That's why tonight, with the help of the lovely Bramford Marcellus and our announcer, Ed Hall, uh, we will, they will help us find out. We will show you life, cheers, and life after cheers. All right? First, life with cheers. Sam Malone was a washed up, over the hill baseball player. After cheers, Sam gets a three year contract with the LA Dodgers. Cheers! Rebecca hopes to get a marriage proposal from a millionaire. After cheers, 
Rebecca gets indecent proposal from Robert Redford for 50 bucks. <laughs> Cheers. Woody is known as the dumbest guy to come out of Indiana. After cheers, title reverts back to Dan Quayle. All right, for, for 11 years, 11 years during cheers, Norm sat on the same bar stool and drank beer. After cheers, Norm checks in a hospital for liver transplant and extensive hemorrhoid surgery. <laughs> During cheers, Carla, master of the vicious put-down, master of the vicious put-down. After cheers, Carla revealed to be the daughter of Bob Dole. <laughs> During cheers, Cliff's mailman uniform sent to the Smithsonian Institute. Very impressive. After cheers, they discover there are hundreds of undelivered letters left in his bag. Yeah, just hundreds of undelivered letters left in his bag. During cheers, Dr. Frazier Crane, world's number one, uh, number one source of bad advice. After cheers, number one sort of source of bad advice, Latoya Jackson's psychic friends, ladies and gentlemen. Psychic friends. During cheers, Carla's ex-husband, Nick Totelli, the hairiest man on TV. Okay. After cheers, Ed Asner moves up a notch. Ed Asner moves up a notch. During cheers, NBC could always count on cheers to be a top ten show. After cheers, NBC executive Pray Daily for the continued health of Jerry Seinfeld. Yes. And during cheers, sadly, after 11 seasons, 11 seasons, things must come to an end. But after cheers, hey, at least we didn't lose them to CBS. All righty. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back. You know, Ted and Rhea spent 11 years on the program. Uh, the question is, how much do they really remember? Let's test the knowledge of the Cheers years. We had our uh, Boston affiliate, WBZ, a fine, fine affiliate, hold a trivia contest to find the two people in the Boston area who knew the most about Cheers. Here they are. Now, your name is? Chris. Hi, Chris. Chris what? Chris Cassidy. Chris, and what do you do? I go to school at Northeastern University. You go to school at Northeastern. Thank you very much. Oh, Ted. Love, love, love. And your name is? Alicia Gray. And where do you go to school? UMass Boston. I feel like uh, I feel like Dick Clark. Where do you go to school? Okay. You can you dance it? And what's your major? Uh, social psychology. Social psychology. And you all have time to watch Cheers and memorize stuff. Okay, we're going to pit them against Rhea and Ted. They can't win. And also Cheers creator Jim Burrows and Glenn Charles right back here. We'll serve as judges. There you are. There you are. Okay. These are taken from the actual Cheers trivia game. The first question will go to our uh, bright young challengers. Here's an easy one. What team did Sam Malone play for? Oh, Red Sox. <laughs> that would be correct. We turn over one card. Okay. Let's go to our team. Before it was Cheers, the bar had another name. What was it called? Cheers oh, oh, What? Come on. I'm sorry, that is wrong. We will go to our challengers. Before it was Cheers, the bar had another name. What was it called? The Bull and Finch Pub, of course. No, no that's wrong. Oh. That is wrong. Let's go to the creators. Perhaps they might have some idea. It says Mom's. But was it Pops? No, it was something like Pops. Uh, it was Mom. It was Mom. Uh, it was Mom. Uh, it was mom. Uh, All right, we have enough. Yeah. Okay, now we'll we'll go to our uh, cast members. Okay. We got what is Fraser a doctor of? Oh, so easy. Uh, uh, how many? Shrink shit. Shrink shit. Shrink what? <laughs> she swore. She swore. <laughs> shrink stuff. Shrink <laughs> stuff. Shrink. <laughs> shrink stuff. Yes. Let's go to Dr. Reason A. Goodman of the World Book. Can we accept shrink stuff? Yes. All right, we can't accept shrink <laughs> stuff. All right, fine. Yes. Of course, all right. 
Go to our challenger. When Sam was a guest on a sports radio talk show, what did, what did Woody call in and ask him? You, Alicia. <laughs> Either one of you? No. Um, no idea. Okay, the, the punky college kids have no idea. Let's, okay. okay, the question is, when Sam was a guest on a sports radio show, what did Woody call in and ask him? There's Woody right there. Woody, what did you call in and ask? If you ordered scotch. No. What would you like to have a groin in? Your answer, please. No, no. Where'd you put the olives? What is it? Where'd you put the olives? Where did you put the olives? Yes. That's correct. Yes. Sadly, sadly, I cannot give you the point. You have four people sharing a brain against two people. So there was... That's fair. That's too easy. All right, here we go with you. Uh, who I got last time? We'll go with you. What is Norm's favorite drink? Oh, man, you don't have to watch his show. All you do is watch his show tonight to know that. Beer. Beer. Beer is correct. Beer is correct. Beer is correct. All right, you have the next one. What special name did Rebecca have for Robin's new girlfriend? That's, that's no, hard. Beer that's really isn't hard. a good answer for huh? that. Beer isn't a good answer. What is it? It could be something with like beer frog, in it. Frog slut. What is it? Frog slut. Frog slut is correct. Unfortunately, you lose points for turning off your own cards. I'm sorry. Go back to one. I'm sorry. You don't fool with the judge. Okay. Who did the Cheers gang think that Cliff killed? His mother. His mother. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Very good. His mother. His mother. That's it. That's All right. So you guys, name the three types of women Sam won't mess with. Um, let me see. Uh, uh, married, uh, married, uh, married, uh, married, uh, beautiful. What? Exhausted. Uh, married, underage, or comatose. Married, underage, or comatose. That All is right. correct. Yeah. Okay. You get one point. <laughs> Thank you very much. Someone will be with you in a moment. All right. Inebriated? Cliff once planned his own amusement park. What was he going to call it? <laughs> Mail World. Mail World? Can we accept Mail World? No, no. No, no, no. no, I am sorry. No, we cannot accept Mail World. I'm sorry. Again, I repeat for you. Cliff once planned his own amusement park. What was he going to call it? Postal World. Isn't it? Postal World is correct. Thank you very much. Most of the world. Thank you very, very much. Okay. Is this the final question? No, no, it's not the final question, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, okay. Let's see here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what did you come uh, wait a minute. It's almost the final question. Uh, let's try a little something tougher. All right, all right. George Washington had wooden teeth. <laughs> What's the question? What was the name of his orthodontist? <laughs> <laughs> Silverman. Silverman. Bob Silverman. Bob Silverman. That is correct. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Bob Silverman is correct. Uh, uh, All right. How are you going to get out of it? I don't know, but I'm, I'm stretching. How long does it take an ant with lockjaw to eat a watermelon? <laughs> Seven and a half days. Boy, that's real close. <laughs> judges, I almost judges, have to give it to him. All right. Well, let's see. Why don't we go to the final question for 10 points? What, what's the score now? It is now three to nothing. <laughs> for 10 points. So this could go either way. Wait, did you peek? No. You cheated, didn't you? <laughs> I swear I did. Okay. Uh, cheers is a place... Oh, this is the stupidest question. All right, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Huh? You have to answer within a tenth of a second. You both yell it out, all right, because it's so easy. Cheers is a place where everybody knows. Your name? Your shoe no, no, no. No, you got it, your name. She won. The college students have won, ladies and gentlemen. She won your name. Thank you, thank you. And for the winners, we have copies of the Cheers trivia game. Here you are. Actually, we have the trivia home game right here. Look, you could actually yes. have these people in your home. What could be more trivial than that? All right, so anyway, would you guys like a copy as well? Uh, uh, do you have another one back there? No. Uh, no, we have this. <laughs> Apparently, the, we're going to be doing urine testing after the program. Later, so, uh, Norm, I think this is yours. It's kind of back. <laughs> I'll be right back right after this. <laughs> Well, 
Welcome back. We're here with the only two sober people on the Cheers cast. <laughs> Somehow the the bar was drained before they got here. It's uh, I. Having not spoken to sober people all evening, this is quite refreshing, ladies and gentlemen. I, I honestly don't. They are the ones who wrote the fabulous, fabulous Cheers theme, which is one of the great themes, certainly, of all time. Thank you. Now, let me ask you about this. How, well, I guess, how long ago did you write this? I mean, you wrote it when the show came out, but right. was this a song written for something else that you adapted to the. Uh... No, we had written another song that they were interested in and didn't work out, so we wrote this for them. Yeah. When, when, when you do this, what did, did you look at the pilot? Did you watch the show? Or did you just write a, a, a song about a bar and hope this would fit? I mean, did you, did you look at all the characters? Uh, well, they told us that they wanted a song about a bunch of people who hung out in a bar. <laughs> and we could do anything that we wanted. Yeah. So, it was wonderful. And was this... Did your first, was this your first effort? Is this, is this like, here's the one we finished. Did you hand it in? Did you hand in a bunch of different drafts? Uh, uh, this was song number four, I think, Jay. We, we oh, worked, oh, song number four? We worked yeah. real hard on this. <laughs> How many times have you performed this song in your life? I recorded this song 11 years ago, and I had to practice for today because it's just <laughs> run that since that it day. It just runs all that time. So I've been practicing for tonight. Oh, I see. Really? So the song goes out without us. Huh? The song goes out without us. All right. Well, now you guys don't mind performing one last yeah, time, right? No. All right. Can I we get... Let's get the cast up here. Thank you. Can we get our cast? Let's get everybody up here. No, no we're not bringing them up? We're gonna oh, okay. We're going to have... Okay. They're coming. They're coming. Okay. So they'll be up. They'll be up. They'll be up. They, they'll start it, and then we'll... Uh, Okay. We'll have them join in. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Gary Portnoy, Judy Hart Angelo. Thank you. It's been a crazy night. I just want to say um, thank you, America, for embracing the song for so many years. It's meant a lot to us. Hope you can take it one more time. Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries Sure would help a lot Wouldn't you like to get away? You're great Sometimes you want to go Where everybody knows your name And they're always glad you came You want to be where you can see Our troubles are all the same you want to be where everybody knows your name All those nights when you've got no lights The check is in the mail And your little angel hung the cat up by his tail And your third fiancé didn't show Looking bright, and your shrink ran off to Europe and it didn't even ride. And your husband wants to be a girl. Be glad there's one place in the world. Oh, no. 